what's going on guys um i have a new session today it's for mariah uh lugo she's coming up with a really nice concept um her music is very more it's more like jazz oriented so i love the i love the whole idea the whole concept um so she reached out for me to do guitars i think and i think i have two three songs that i have to do um so i'm pretty excited because it's very very different than what i normally do here and it's a genre that I actually enjoy. It's what I grew up um, playing um, when I started getting into guitar and all that stuff. Um, so for this session, it's, it's, it's a very short song. I think it's like maybe like two minutes or so. Um, I'm gonna be using mainly this, my um, 335. I just double track this, and I then just gonna maybe do the, the solos and the lines with the Epiphone with 335. I'm gonna do maybe another take with the nylon string just to see which one she likes um, the most. Um, but that's it. Um, I'm gonna switch the camera so you guys can um, listen to what we're gonna be doing. But let's go. All right, guys. So I'm back here, um, trying to set up like a good angle for this. I know it's always weird. So I'm gonna show you guys the the song first. <laughs> Right, that's that's the whole concept of the song. Um, um, that's what I'm planning to go with this first, and I'm just still debating if I'm gonna use this or the Cordoba, which is back there. Um, right now I'm using a Twin River. I'm just going for a straight um, 335 um, jazz um, sound, clean. Um, I'm using the Twin River um, preset that I have. I have to modify it a little bit. Um, I have, I'm then basically using the amp and the clone um, pedal in the Helix, um, just pushing it just, just a little hair. Um, so the song is in D, this is the tone. Right? That's the tone that I have, pretty simple. Um, I rolled um, down the tone, I have it, on, I have it like a maybe in four or five, so it's pretty dark. Just to go for that jazzy um, sound, you know this guitar is semi hollow. It has a plate right here, a block right here, so it has that really nice acoustic um, hollow sound. Um, so I think this is a good tone to start. I did the first track already, kind of like it. Um, I had an idea, I think I'm just gonna double it with my Strat. Um, so basically those are the main two um, guitar styles that are used for um, a song like this. Um, um, I did the, the first track with uh, the neck pickup of my 335. So I was thinking of doing the same thing, maybe move a little bit more with the Strat, but in the fourth position, um, these two pickups. I think, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna push the amp a little bit more. Um, I think I'm gonna, let me experiment. Instead of the amp, I think I'm just gonna push the clone just a little bit more. Basically, yeah, that's what I did. I just pushed the clone a little bit more and I boosted the highs just a, a little bit, maybe a few dBs in the amp. And that's the tone that I have. It's the neck. Sounds really good there. I um, just wanted to use this.
I'm gonna do the 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 lead or the lines and stuff like that with the nylon string. Um, my quarterback. In this case, I switch to my ML1, the big one from Slate Digital, just because it's a song that doesn't have a, a lot of instrumentation. So I wanted the guitar to sound bigger, um, maybe with a little bit more low end. Um, so I'm just experimenting. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. It, it's actually sounding really good. Um, Basically, you guys already know the signal chain. I'm running it through the warm audio 1173, the WA273 EQ. I'm just cutting 50 hertz with the low cut, and I have the tone button engaged, so it, it gives a little bit more bite to the tone. And then the compressor, same thing, warm audio, the bus comp. I think it's, it's maybe compressing like two or three dBs. Um, we're gonna push it a little bit more and then um, I think all of my guitars I tuned them and holstered down so the song is in D I'm just playing an E in this case guys um again sorry for the weird angle um i'm done with the guitars um i'm just gonna um edit um eq them a little bit more um i only did i i only did like three yeah i only did like three so it's not a lot um so i'm gonna show you guys normally what i do um for a song like this it's basically more like a cleanup it's not like tone shaping or anything like that um but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. What I did was I put the two guitars, the the rhythm guitars, I basically put them in a group. Um, so it's a, it's easier for me to manipulate them. Um, basically, I put the 335 in the left and then the stripe put it in the right. Um, I'm gonna solo it so you guys can hear what I did. <laughs> So that, that's basically the tone, um, pretty straightforward. I put the strat a little bit louder because I noticed if you guys see the wave, you, that's that's the difference in pickups. Um, you can tell the 335 is way hotter than the strat. Um, so that's what I did. Basically, EQ, I just cut lows, um, a 200, and then I boosted a little bit on like 2.5. Gonna put it before and after, it's not a lot. So as you guys hear, it's, it's not a lot. It's just a cleanup. So they cut a little bit better and then just controlling those lows too. I'm gonna add a compressor just to something like a stock compressor from Logic just to control the dynamics a little bit more.
Again, not a lot. I just put the 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 Isaiah 1176 um, style and logic, just to control the dynamics. And I, I was, if you guys saw me, I was switching from the different um, versions of comp of the different compressors that Logic has. Um, I was basically switching just to listen to the tone um, what I was adding to the um, the track. Um, I like the tone. Um, that these um, compressor added to the actual guitars. So that's why I stayed there. And then obviously it was a big jump in volume. So I just brought it down quite a lot. Um, so that's what I did with that. I haven't even processed the acoustics yet. So I'm gonna move to that. First thing I'm gonna do, EQ. Definitely can hear my me breathing and stuff, so I might just add a gate to that just to see if, if, if it helps. I know it's not a lot, um, but just to help out. And then I'm just gonna put a little compressor, again, just to control the dynamics. That's that, um, nothing crazy, just to control it. And then I'm just gonna add, uh, just for fun, I'm just gonna add a delay. Um, I have to figure out the, uh, so 95, so I'm gonna just put a data eight. And we want a quarter notes on the other one, data eight, just to see how it feels. I always cut the lows and the highs. Let me see how it feels. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it half here and just, let's see. So I think, I think I'm just gonna leave it in half, let's see. So that, and then I'm gonna put a reverb, and that should be it. And then I have to see how how it sounds with the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> these are little things that I normally do. The thing I always do this this is where I feel like it sounds better. So let's see. <laughs>
So yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna send it to her just to see if she likes the whole, um, the whole concept, and then we should be we should be good to go. So hope you guys like this type of videos. If you guys um, like to see a little bit more, just write down in the comments. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, I'm always posting stuff from the studio and stuff like that. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.